If you have sellers that constantly tell you at the end of your listing appointment, hey, listen, uh, it was great meeting with you, but we've got to think about it. We've got to think it over and we'll get back to you. I'm going to show you exactly what to do in this video so that never happens again. So listen, just as a reminder, before we jump into our training video today, if you haven't done so already, you can grab a free copy of my brand new script book. I just released it to uh, all of our coaching clients. And so you can grab a free copy of that. There's a link right below this video in the uh, description box. So let's jump into this. All right. Now, for years, if you know, I've, I've told people, if you have a problem with closing the sale, most likely it's because of what we're not doing at the beginning of the sale. In other words, how are we opening up that conversation? Here's the question we have to look at. If a prospect was never going to do business with you, I'm talking about ever, like they were never going to do business with you, when would you want to find out that information? Now, most of you watching this video say to yourself, well, I would want to find out right now because I don't want to waste my time spinning my wheels, chasing prospects, following up with prospects just to find out weeks or months in the future that either A, they did business with someone else or B, uh, they have no interest in, in ever doing business with me. Now, if that is true, if that's the case, if you want to hear the truth, and the truth being sometimes that people are never going to do business with you, what can we do from a tactical perspective in order to make that come to fruition? We have to invite the prospect to be honest. So let me explain to you what that means, what that looks like, what that could sound like. The listing appointment all starts with us setting a strong agenda. That agenda breaks down into three pieces. All right, I'm going to walk you through it right now. Step number one is where we're going to explain to the seller exactly how this meeting is going to go. We're going to walk you through, Mr. Seller, my pricing strategy that will allow me to position your home in the marketplace such that it becomes the obvious choice so that we can attract all of the best buyers who are willing to give you an offer on the property that works for you or more, which is, of course, exactly what you're looking for. Am I right? They always say yes. Then once we go through that, we'll break down all the numbers so you can get a really clear picture, a great idea of how much you're going to walk away with when we're sitting across from each other at a closing table. And then lastly, once we go through my plan, it's going to be clear whether or not it makes sense for you to hire me as your agent. And listen, before we even jump into it today, if I'm not the agent, or if you feel as though you're not confident in my ability to get your property sold, you can tell me. I promise you will not hurt my feelings. Now, before we jump in, is that something that you're comfortable with? So that's the script. We're really inviting the prospect. We want to make it us. Uh, Make it so that the prospect is comfortable with us, that they can be honest, they can be open, they can share their feedback without them worrying about uh, masking the truth because they're just looking to be polite. Now, once we've gathered that and we've set a strong agenda and we've given the prospect the right to say no. We've given them permission to tell us no. We've made it safe for them to tell us the truth. I want you to think about something. How do you think the seller would feel in response to you communicating like that? Do you feel as though uh, they might think that they can trust you more or trust you less? Do you think there'd be more rapport built or less rapport built? Do you think that you start to appeal to the seller as an agent they would uh, uh, likely hire or not likely hire? And if you really think about the person who speaks against their own interest is somebody that we can trust, who's open to the idea that, listen, it may not even make sense for us to work together. And if that's the case, I'm fine with that. Because... The opposite of that is desperation, neediness. When somebody comes across where they're trying to convince you to do something that 
they assume automatically that we should do business together no matter what is when what happens? Our BS radar, our BS radar goes off, right? We start to say, well, I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense. Just hold on, Tiger. Not so fast. It starts to elicit psychological reactance, the resistance that we're often met with. So when we speak opposite of that, we have equal business stature, right? So we equal the playing field that we're not needy for the seller's business. We want to earn their business, but we don't need their business. And this is exactly the type of agent that sellers want to work with. So once we've established a strong agenda, now it's our turn to gain the permission of the seller to tell them a truth, to tell them the truth. This is yet again another variable or characteristic that uh, that really appeals to most sellers. Let me give you an example. So after we set the agenda so that we don't get the think it overs, we get the seller's permission to tell them the truth. Here's what that might sound like. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, as we get into it, there are a lot of agents in our industry, unfortunately, that will meet with you and tell you anything they believe you want to hear in order for them to earn your business or in order for they think that they will say something that might appeal to you that would cause you to list the home with them. They'll beat around the bush. They'll make it seem better than it is. They'll they'll BS you because they think it's what you want to hear. And I would rather tonight be 100% forthcoming around the truth, around what it's going to take to get your property sold, even if that means risking losing your business because I might say something you do not want to hear. Now, before we get too deep into that, are you guys also comfortable with that? Are you comfortable with me being 100% transparent and honest? Now, what do you think they're going to say? No, Brandon, we want you to bullshit us. I don't think so. We've also planted a small seed of doubt around any other agent that they may be potentially interviewing, right? Because now we've got this this, uh, seed that we've planted, that we've raised some red flags in the mind of the seller so that when your competition goes in there and starts to cut their commission, or they go in there and they start to raise the price of the property by telling sellers they can sell it at a price that uh, that they can't sell it for. And then they start to offer up terms that are unreasonable and they're doing all of the things that we talked about, the seller says, well, this is exactly what Brandon told us. This is the type of agent who's just beating around the bush, just making everything sound nice and fluffy. There's no, uh, they're not being real. So this does another thing for us. This also sets us apart from our competition, uh, competition, of course, but it also is another characteristic that most sellers are looking for. They're not looking to be BS'd. They're not looking... uh, for somebody to to make things sound better than they are. They're looking to hire an agent who can confront them with the truth. And we do that because most agents don't, don't get permission to do it. So when they try to do it later, it becomes conflict and it backfires on them. But when we get permission up front before we even get into the listing appointment, I think what you're going to find is two things. When You've given them permission to be honest with you, and you've gotten their permission to be honest with them. Your listing presentations will go so much better. Number one, so much better. You'll just deal in the truths. You won't have to play games with each other. They won't feel like you're selling them, and you won't feel like they're they're uh, just BSing you in return where they're like, I just have to think it over. We've got to do a couple different things. Most of the time, that's all crap. It's because you haven't made it safe for the prospect to tell you the truth. And then number two, it allows you to do exactly what you want, which is to earn more listings. 